Hey guys, welcome, welcome. I, ha I haven't done one of these in a long, long. Without further ado, this is Castle Crashers Remastered. The last time I played Castle Crashers was on the Xbox 360, and that was a really good game. I didn't really beat it by myself since I used a, a cheat. Not a cheat, but like a glitch to level up all my characters and get all the characters instantly. I don't know if it's still like this for the remastered version, but let's hope it's not. Because there was a lot of DLC characters, which, and I'm, I was glad I was able to uh, glitch the system to get all the characters. Now, this game is four players, all on the same screen. It's four players online and co-op. Which is like couch co-op, which is great. The game gives you a new remaster, gives you a new mode called Back Off Barbarian, which is pretty like it's it's like a survival, where it's it's also four players, but you gotta run away from the barbarians. I could show you it, but I don't want to do it because it's pretty lame. Not gonna lie. Arena is a game mode where you're against your friends, and you gotta you know survive. Like you gotta fight against your friends using your abilities and powers. And then there's Castle Crashers, which is the campaign. Castle, this is where we're gonna be entering. Now, in the remastered version, it seems like there's six characters you can play as. <laughs> in the normal one, there's only four, and the four you can play as in the normal one is the Green Knight, which is, which deals with poison dam with damage power, poison powers. The Red Knight, which deals with electricity. Um, the Blue Knight, which deals with ice, and the Yellow Knight, which deals with fire. The new, the new two characters they add is this Pink Knight, which I think it's probably a girl knight, as it looks like it's a girl knight. I don't know what she deals with. And then there's there's Purple Knight, which with antlers on his helmet. I don't know what he does. But we're gonna play as my boy, the Yellow Knight, because he's awesome. This game is made by Newgrounds. I can tell you more about animal orbs. So, yeah, in this game, it has a lot of stuff, which is really good. If you eat fruit, they give you more health. Then there's pets, and then different weapons you could collect. The, the story behind this game, for the game, I, I should say, is actually really, really well thought out. There's a lot of references from different movies and, and shows. So basically, pretty much, the, this, this wizard dude, he um, took the crystal that this king guy has, killing off a bunch of our guards, which are great, these gray knights looking dudes. The gray knights, I, I think you, you'll be able to play as them on a DLC.
so when their bodies on the floor, you'll be able to throw their bodies. I helped out that one guy thinking that I was going to uh, get, um, let's see, I could, if I could destroy some barrels, I could get some health, I don't want to spend my gold just yet. Alright, so we got the King's Arena, which is where you, you fight hordes of actual, like, AI enemies. You got the Blacksmith, if you go over here, this is where all your swords are at. Pets. The pets are inside this little Noah's art looking thing. I think there's a pet underneath the stair. I know that there, you got another pets. Man, I haven't played this game in a long time. There's, I, there's a way to get more pets. There's a pet all the way back here, but you gotta have like this ability where you can jump higher to get it. He's up there. It's a little cat thingy. Frog's mouth. This is where you can find all your uh, weapons, and they all have different stats. This pitchfork gives you, I think, plus one strength and minus one pet for pets. There's some other swords that I don't know why I have because I shouldn't have them. For reasons.
Oh my god. Mm, I have died. demo version for this game only allows you up to a certain point. There's a shovel you get later on in the game where you'll be able to search through and find like, secret items. These dudes right here are, um, yeah, they're archers only. There's at least two bosses you'll be fighting during the course of your this thing right here and something else.
wasn't even paying attention to the, to the health of house. I like my current weapon because it hits harder. So this is our second boss. He has a few basic attack moves. He punches. And then he has his little back thing. And then has this other back thing here.
During every boss battle, you're gonna get a lot of gold. And we unlocked a new character, the White Knight. Now, I want more damage. That's that's just me personally. So this is the docks. The docks will allow you to travel to a new area of the map. And you gotta collect all three of these items. We already got the compass, which, which is great. But the other two items are gonna be somewhere else map of Castle Crashers. Acquire these relics before we can set sail. I wish the game allowed us to look at the map. There's This is like one of the Zelda games where you get a lot of cool items and they, they all have like their own special features and stuff. Um. On the bottom left, you can see a boomerang looking thing and a shovel. So, the boomerang thing, I'm not really entirely sure what it does, but the shovel helps you dig for treasures, like pets and stuff. I know, and I know that there's an area over here that allows you to get a pet of some sort. See, now I'm doing a lot of more damage. So that that orange princess here is dragged by the face and they'll always cover her face. And that's only because she's supposed to be the ugliest princess of them all. The chicken is supposed to give you a lot more health than the other edibles that you find on the map. Probably have the sword already, that's why I think I it. Anyways. These things right here, these dudes will steal your gold. As you can see, I'm getting my ass whooped by this, um, big dude. This big, bulky, son of a bitch.
Hey, there's a pet over here. This dude gives me, gives me up. Yo, I have this song in my iTunes, because it's really good. I think these dudes have more health than the standard barbarians. So that lizard pet, that blue, that green looking thing is supposed to make you walk in water faster. And that guy's stuck. As you can see, ooh, I walk on water faster. But I like, I like this guy more, to be Me and him share this bond. This is the second, the uh, next, I think it's the third enemy type. No, fourth enemy type.
There's a there's a pet over here that you can get from using getting an item. And that item is a bomb. I'm not gonna lie, but this is like actually an, an extremely good source of EXP. So, so apparently my controller just died, but I am charging it now, and I now, I, I now I just died because of that. Now, since I just died, I gotta start the level from the be beginning, but now I'm, I'm, I'm actually more stronger.
like slashing their head off. Damn it, I just died again. I probably should have invested in. Actually, what I could do is buy some health. I'm gonna go do that. Things at home castle? five of these. Uh, give me a second. So yeah, each character in the game has their own different level requirement. I mean, not different. They, they all level up. Not the same. Like, this knight here, I have him at level 6. But if I play as a blue knight, he's going to be a uh, different level. Maybe like level 1.
shit keeps popping up on my screen. Castle crash. Not gonna lie, I never used the guy's shield. Same thing as before, I'm gonna level up by killing these guys. Maybe, maybe. I might need help. This is my favorite part of Castle Crashers. Only running away from this guy. I played Castle Crashers on the Xbox 360 and beat it. running away is to always follow where the deer is running to. level you could help out.
jeez. Must get on the alligator. No. I made my stats on strength extremely high, so when I I could just one hit these dudes. And it's another boss battle. So the trick here is you don't want the hairballs to hit the ship or else it won't do a lot of damage. PSN on my phone, so I, I can just add you from there. So, castle, crash, crasher. F -F. Oh, castle. Oh wait, no, I, I guess spelled it right.
Now, is your name, does your name have FF in it at the end of it? Or is it just called Castle Crusher? Are you saying yes to the that it, it's just Castle Crasher, or yes that it's Castle Crasher with FF? Uh oh, it says I can't find you. Yo, um, you could add me on PS, and then I'll accept the friend request. It's C O L. Actually, it, no, it scratch that. It's C O O L E R one four seven eight. C O O L E R one four seven eight. Oh, I got you. Oh, so it's capital FF. Oh, hello. the end of episode one and episode two well it's gonna be called episode two